mean, we'll talk about your wire hangers later. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about I that. Mean, you're lucky I'm touching them. <laughs> Here's what I think about this, and I'm going to show you. So first of all, you've got a double pleat. Pleats are, in this day and age, bad. Okay. Um, so double pleat, I'm going to go with bad. They have the cuff at the bottom. Again, bad. Um, they're 100% polyester. I'm going to go with bad on that. <laughs> and <clears throat> you'll notice, I mean, look at how wide these legs are. Mary, can you see how wide these legs are? I mean, they feel a little sail-like to me. Like, on a gusty day, I would be worried. I think, basically, when you want to wear flip-flops, you nine times out of ten, you're going to have to wear pants. And then some sort of, you know, reserved top on top, reserved shirt, if you will. When you do jeans, I think you have to do shoes, and you can vary up the shirt. Um, but it's always going to have to be some kind of, something that involves a button, meaning it can't ever be a t-shirt. It can be a polo shirt that has, you know, just a couple buttons, but right. it has to be some That's sort of collar. Probably, but yeah. this rise here is nuts. I mean, that's like, from <laughs> top to bottom, that's like a foot. <laughs> and for somebody who has a long torso, which yeah. means a truncated, you know, midsection, you don't need a rise that long. We'll have to work on that. We'll have to work on it. Well, because you either end up pulling them up so that they're very <laughs> high. Fix that looks. Yeah. There we and, go. Yeah. And then, so you either pull them up here, so that way this is literally right at my belly button, I think. I'm going to find my belly button. Yeah. Which is very high, which is the only way I could wear them lengthwise, because we're about the same length. Or... You put them lower and lower, again, which makes you look like you've taken a dump. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You get. So I think in a business casual outfit, you get one gimme piece, as it were. So if your gimme is flip flops, then it's pants with a polo shirt. Mm -hmm. If your gimme is jeans, then it's shoes with a dress shirt. Mm -hmm. If your gimme is cargo pants, then it's shoes with a dress shirt. So we started with a hoodie sweatshirt, um, which is fine, but it's never going to work. Then we tried to do a zip-up sort of sweatshirt situation that you didn't want to wear anything underneath. Um, mm -hmm. That it's a step closer than the first one, but just not quite enough. And then we got over here. And because this is a knit, um, and it's a zip with a really modern pattern on it, and it's a subdued, you know, gray-black sort of combo, this would work. Um, even though it's, you know, cotton, just like this one, but the fact that it's more of a knit elevates it and makes it a little more dressy. And then if you wear it with just a good dark denim like this, mm -hmm. it will totally work. Cool. So good. that's how we went from a polyester sweatshirt <laughs> to a cotton knit zip. That will be business casual appropriate.